Sleepwalker Radio. I'm here with Blake Parker. Oh, Blake. I'm double cameraed up right now. It's you know what I'm saying? We're actually in Blake's apartment out in New York in the city. This is my room. Yeah. This is my room. It's pretty tight. It's a very, very sick room. As I, as I was setting up here, I just witnessed Blake knock out a very hard track in like five, ten minutes. It's crazy. Yeah, that's that's how I that's how I like uh that, that is my me me not focusing. That's me not focusing. I got other shit to do. <laughs> day job and I'm I was doing that. I was doing that. No, it's pretty impressive. Is that uh normally how you record? Usually. Usually I really just be sitting around, I'm like, Oh dude, that'd be sick. Yeah. And then I just yeah, yeah, and I, I I make the, the, the beat in like a second honest. I make the songs super fast. It just takes me a long time to finish them because I'm like, it's not perfect yet. Yeah, but, yeah, you know, yeah. Also, that shit could be. Continue, continue, continue. No, no, no. That was that was cool. And I like how it's in the moment type of approach to this stuff. Like I said, it's already in you, yo. The power is already in you. Mm-hmm. It's just, you, you feel me? Everything is easy. Facts. Well, to uh, go back a little bit. You're originally from Chicago, right? Yes. Um, and how long were you out there before you moved to New York? In Chicago? Yeah. My whole life. Got you. What was it like yeah. growing up there? Yeah. In Chicago. All true. the stereotypes, too, but are, are true. But also, the music is amazing. The art is amazing. I, I think they Facts. got the best art in the world. Yeah. You could definitely make a case for that. There's so many artists from... Multiple generations dating back to yeah, Shaka I mean, Khan, you know what I'm Kanye West, yeah, Blake Parker, Blake Parker, exactly. That's just three. Yeah, that's just three. <laughs> that's just three. <laughs> what uh, part of Chicago were you at? I was on the South Side until high. No, I was on the West Side until high school. Then I was on the South Side. Got I went you. to Phillips Academy. Shout out Phillips Academy. Shout out Mr. Jackson. You feel me? Shout out Mr. Jackson like a motherfucker. Yo, shout out Mr. Jackson. What the fuck? That nigga, made me, that nigga let me make beats in class because I was just doing all my work fast and easy. Man. Shout out that nigga. Man. Shout out that nigga, bro. <laughs> yeah, uh, nah, for sure. Uh, 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 I had to say that because that's the one teacher I got to... And Miss April, I went to a school called Rich South for one year. Rich South. It's in the South <laughs> suburbs. I had to drive. My mom, my mom had to drive me there until I got my license. Yeah. Shout out Miss April. Miss um, April. Yo. And Mr. Gallagher. I hope you making movies, bro. Then he got a film degree. He's a, he's a, he was an English teacher. He hated that job. He was a cool <laughs> nigga though. Shout out, bro. I hope I'm not like you. Um That's fair. Yeah, he's a sick dude, bro. I'm too much of like I don't want to be like him. Like it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, nah. uh, 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 uh. I had a cool teacher in high school, uh, Mr. Moore. He taught, we had like morning announcements. Word. And he was the teacher. He was this black dude. He would uh, come in from Baltimore because the school was in DC and shit. Speaking of black, shout out Rashad King, my human geography teacher. Yeah. All right, continue. No, no, shout out Rashad. Um, but yeah, he was just a teacher for the class and he was always like weird and mean. He had a very adult swim sense of humor. Uh. And like, He'd always make those type of jokes, and it's always serious and shit. Even though he's joking, like the entire time. That was time. Mr. Gallagher. Yeah, yeah. He's like he was like 27, 28 or something that was like Mr. that. Mr. Gallagher. You know yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out Mr. Moore if you ever see this. You're cool. You're a cool teacher. Shout out Pam Glenn. I talk to her daily. That's 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 the goat. She ran this arts program I was in in high yeah. school, bro. Shout out Pam Glenn, bro. I I lived with her for a year, bro, right before I moved out here. Like, Got she. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. I could say more, but I. Shout out Pam, bro. Shout out Pam. Shout out Pam and Jim. That that is their name. Pam and Jim. They're is... married. They've been wow. married for years. It's crazy. Wow. Shout out Pam and Jim. Shout out Mr. Jackson. Shout out Miss April. I ain't never had a teacher tell me I couldn't I, and wouldn't be shit. All my teachers told me I was gonna be amazing. Uh, them niggas told me to drop out and make music. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> so when did you move to New York? 
after my dad died, I was just gotcha. driving around America and I was like, I'm gonna stay here. Feels like Spider Man. Facts. Yeah. Uh, what other places did you go to? Uh, I went to Ohio. I went to Vermont. I went to Connecticut. Um, I drove through. I got a misdemeanor in Indiana. I bought the case. Damn. Shout out! Uh, shout out! Uh, shout out! Shout out! My my homie Elida. It's her mom. Her mom a lawyer. Shout out. You feel me? Thank you. Yeah. Bought the case. I Red. had one spliff. Damn. One split. Not in Indiana. 30 they, minutes they away from play. where it's legal, bro. I'm on the way home. Bro. Yeah, Illinois, crib. yeah. That shit crazy, man. That shit is crazy. I'm glad you're able to no, out of that jam. Yeah, no, nah, it was insane. I'm not a fan. But. <laughs> That's a lot of the country. Yeah. Uh, what, what time period was this? This is in 2021. Got you, yeah. got you. So a lot of shit was also just going on in general. Yeah. It low-key started because... Cause I, I I did a show at Oberlin, dude. Oh, Oberlin, it all good. <laughs> I I went to Oberlin. Yeah, was I was like, life. and I was like, I was like, okay, so I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna like drive the rest of the way east. Yeah, I went to Philly. Hey, I went to Jersey. Got you. I went to Delaware. I tried to go. Delaware. I went to Baltimore. Hey, I, I tried to go to uh. I went to DC, Black Excellence. Hey, you for me? shout out DC, you man. You already know. You feel me? Fuck you talking about. I fuck with the funnel, but I'm off the I'm off the leaf. Yeah, you're on the uh I'm on the Amsterdam shag. You're on the shag, yeah. You smoking shag. You feel me? Like it's look, what what's the preference? Why why shag? They only sell they only sell graba and funnel in low income neighborhoods. <laughs> and they not niggas selling it. Think about it. Don't that sound dark? Don't that sound like they profiting off your addiction, off your trauma? Smoke them white niggas smoking. I bet you won't go bald. I bet you won't need a honey pack. The honey packs are crazy. Have you ever tried a honey pack? Not, no. Not so crazy. I haven't tried one either. I'm, I'm very tired. I don't smoke that. graba. I don't drink douce. I will never need a honey pack. <laughs> I don't do barbiturates or benzodiazepines. When would I ever need a honey pack? You never mix the makarot with ashwagandha. Like <laughs> 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 I just was literally thinking that. <laughs> shout out Kevin Gates, man. Oh, man shout show. out Kevin Gates. Look, you don't. I could. I would do that though. Still, that's different. That is different. Mix the Both maca natural, with the yeah. ashwagandha. Like, I put that in my food. Facts. Burn some tea. You feel me? Like, <laughs> sprinkle um, it in the aphrodisiac, put it in the casserole. Oh. I'm not a chef. Got you. So you settled in New York probably like 2021. Yeah. Like right, late 2021. Right. And was that when you made the name change too? Because you originally weren't going by Blake Parker, and you also were not wearing a mask either. No, I was, I was, I was, I was trying to make the name change before Beer or Celebrity came out, but I was already signed legally, so I couldn't do that. Um, got you. Yeah. Got so you. I, as soon as I, as soon as that dropped, which was in 2021, I mm-hmm. was like, literally, just like, all right, cool. Uh. And then they just changed the name over anyway. Like, I asked, and they was just yeah, like, nah. That. And then when I changed it, they was like, yeah, we just finished up, put all the songs over to Blake Parker. And then, like, it's cool, though. I get <laughs> it. I was right yeah. all along. Yeah. Yeah. More of the story. Um, but what was the reason behind, like, changing the name? Uh, 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 I, one, I legally changed my name to Blake Parker. That's fine. Um, I want to name my kid Ben, so my um, my daughter can have my daughter Gwen can have uh, uh, a uncle, her her kid can have an uncle Ben. Yeah, you know. Um, that's Just thinking it. ahead. Yeah. Also, like Blake Parker sound like a nigga that's finna win a Golden Globe. Also, it sound like a nigga that's finna win. Egot. That's all. Mm-hmm. EGOT. EGOT winner is what it sounds like. That's what yeah. I thought too when I was like, yeah, that sounds like an EGOT winner. I could wear a backwards baseball cap in a blazer. Like, 
You really could. You got into music through, um, like, trying to make a score for a comic book, correct? It was a cartoon. A cartoon, yeah. a cartoon, yeah. Yeah, that shit was... Um, yeah, nah. <clears throat> Were, was that, like, the first type of film that you got into making? Nah, first movie I made was a Chronicle ripoff. Really? Because it was like found footage. I was like, I could do found footage. I love superpowers. Yeah. So I did found footage with my laptop. And it was just me doing hella tests of my powers and shit. And then I was just doing like, it's this website called videocopilot.net. Shout out Andrew Kramer, the GOAT, the legend. Shout out Andrew Kramer, the GOAT, the legend. He do all the shit for J.J. Abrams and shit now. Oh, that's fine. in 2007, like, 2008, before, like, right before YouTube, we had this uh, thing called videocopilot.net. This is a whole bunch of After Effects tutorials. I learned how to torrent because my brother taught me how to torrent. I got After Effects. That nigga changed my life. That's that, tough. That was the first movie I ever, like, made, made. I was just doing that, like, dumb, like, I was doing, like, Kamehameha ha shit, like, climbing <laughs> on walls and shit before that. But the first, like, full, like, thing I made was a Chronicle ripoff. It was, like, 10 minutes. I had That's my tough. white homie landed. He from Oklahoma. He had 12 brothers. Shout out Landon. Actually, maybe not shout out Landon. He was weird. And his sister was trying to fuck me. She was like way too old to be trying to fuck me. There's some Oklahoma shit. Yeah. No offense. Yeah, nah, shout, no out Oklahoma. Offense. shout out Oklahoma. I, got, I know some Oklahoma. I know some like niggas up in Tulsa, man. Yeah, shout out Tulsa. Never, never forget. Yeah, never forget. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> so how old were you when you made that first film? Boom. Or just got involved and interested in making I was like 11, maybe. 11? Yeah, it was the year Chronicle came out, 2012. Gotcha. So I was like, I was like right before I turned 12. So I was like 11. Yeah, and I was like, yo. Well, that was like the first thing I made with like a story. And I was like, going to make music for it and everything. Mm-hmm. But I was just doing like effects. Shit that I saw on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, before that. Mm-hmm. Um, the cartoon, I wrote a whole two seasons. I had a cliffhanger and everything, bro. Oh, I'm still gonna get that shit done, yo. As soon as I get some, as soon as I get some clout, yo, yo, Tyler Perry, fuck with me. <laughs> I fuck with what you're doing. It's black excellence all the way through. Yeah. You bought a plantation and now you making that bitch make money for you, bro. Like, come on, bro. Stop hating. Bro, <laughs> I can't hate on you because my auntie love you, oh, bro. Until she stopped so, loving you, that's when I'm gonna be like, you bad for the community. But what yeah. is you doing other than getting niggas to go to church? Yeah, stop hating on Tyler Perry. If you hate Tyler Perry, you are a coon. I'm gonna put that on everything I love. If you hate Tyler Perry, you a coon because he got the hood bumping. They love him. But you let that, you let that, you let that Sosa play. I love Sosa just as much as I love Tyler Perry. <laughs> I will say Tyler Perry is falling off a little bit. In the last like 10, 15 years. He, he busy he's busy doing just, the politicking. Like, yeah. He working on this movie like this, like real, like, like it's not even like no like Medea shit. Like it's like a period piece, like a really? historical fiction. Like he finna go stupid, bro. I swear to God. And they got like good act. I seen a trailer, but that shit is a Netflix Word? original now. Like, yeah, like, I ain't gonna, All right, like his right. movie's weak to me. I'm not gonna watch, like it's not nah, for yeah. me. It's for the hood. But, but <laughs> this new shit look busting. And, 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 and when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry ran away from the UK, where they go? They went to Tyler Perry house. They did. That's a good, that's a really good point. This nigga's protecting black people, bro. Tyler Perry definitely do be around. He's been around. He's he's always in like involved in really random things. You know what I'm saying? Like very I fuck with Lee person. Daniels more though. Shout out Lee Daniels. Charlie Daniels. If you can help me, I would rather it be you. But if Tyler can help me, I'm gonna take that too. And Oprah, I don't know. Let's talk. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did <laughs> that off my chest. No, nah, of course, of course, of course. Um, how many like film projects do you think you worked on? I got two. Well, I got. I got one that I finished and I don't like. Yeah, I have one that I'm reshooting this summer. Um, that I shot last year. Uh, um, it's an incel movie. That shit finna be fire though. I, it's, it's, really fire. it's like Francis Han, Taxi Driver. That's how I've been talking about it to everybody. Bro. It's, gotcha. gonna be it's all comedians in the world, key other than me. Um, it's supposed to be a, 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 a dramedy, a, a, a semi autobiographical movie. Okay, okay. Yeah. You heard it here first. Get a 
Get ready for that. The only difference between me and the main character of this movie is that I get pussy. <laughs> You're doing research into like your background and stuff like that. It seems like you really are into film making more and that's even how you got into music was through making film. Would you say that you like that's kind of what you're most most interested in artistically is making film? Yes. Even now. I want to make commercials. My end goal is to make this 10 series long baseball show. Um um I'm saying it on camera because you know, manifestation or whatever. Yeah, I want to yeah, make yeah. a 10 series long baseball show. Hopefully Disney let me get the Sandlot right so I can just make the Sandlot in the hood so you feel me can for sure sell. But I'm trying to make a 10 <laughs> season baseball show about baseball in the hood is going to be a metaphor for America. That's Emmys. That's that's Golden Globes. That kid finna eat forever. Yeah. You feel me? Because I'm finna make it a Hispanic kid because you feel me? He, the, he looked the most white. That's finna stay on air forever. <laughs> You feel me? His best friend for to be just a nigga that look like me, like exactly yeah. like me, because he's just for to be me. He's yeah, gonna be yeah, weak yeah, at baseball, yeah. but he's gonna be like, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna start making, I'm gonna start documenting your life type shit. Yeah. Anyway, ten years, you feel me? I'm in, I'm in, I'm working on that for ten years, and then I'm gonna make one movie and retire. I'm making one movie and I'm retiring, and that shit gonna be. A Spider Man fan film with all A list actors, and I'm dropping that shit inside the crib, and it's never gonna be seen in public. <laughs> That's the goal. That's a great plan. Um, and you just mentioned Spider Man again. Would you say that that franchise series is like the most influential thing to your like artistry? The figure, the deity. You talking about the. <laughs> You talking about the patron saint of altruism himself, Peter Parker? Yes. He's one of the goats. Mm. He's literally the goat. I sleep with a Spider-Man blanket. I'm a grown adult. I, he you, is, you, uh, you see the, yeah, you see the, you feel me like, yo, yo, shout out Stan Lee, shout out Steve Dicko, shout out Jack Kirk, shout out Jerry Conway, shout out J. Michael Straczynski, shout out Dan Slott, even though you kind of fuck Spider-Man up, shout out uh, Nick Spencer, fuck you talking about, shout out, uh, shout out uh, John Michael Bendis, shout out John, uh, uh, Sarah Pacelli, shout out Joe Quesada, you feel me, yo, shout out Andrew Garfield. Wow. Shout out Andrew Garfield. You feel me? Shout out this thing. Yo, shout out Mark Webb. You 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 really the reason I got in the filmmaking too. The only reason I got a camera is because I wanted to do photography because I wanted to be Peter Parker because that nigga look cool as hell in the movie. Look. Shout out Sam Raimi. I had to say shout out mm-hmm. Sam Raimi. He made he started this shit. Even though Spider-Man wanted to or Superman wanted to. I'm working on a super long video essay. That's gonna come out this year. Tap in. Oh, yeah, get ready. You feel me? Tap in. I, it, it's the same movie. But also, you've like, come on. Come on. Love shouldn't even have to be a secret. Keep it stored up. It'll make you sick. Show my love. That's a Spider-Man 2 quote. Damn. Damn. Shout out Spider-Man. When did you get into, what was like your entrance? It's my first memory. For real? It's my first memory, dog. Yeah. It was this show right here. This show right here. We'll extend it. This show right here. You feel me? Like, shout out Neil Patrick Harris. Really? Shout out fucking Neil Patrick Harris, bro. Neil Patrick Harris was on that? He's Spider-Man. Wow. He's going stupid. Wow. He's going. Those shit was on MTV, bro. I seen that shit. And I was like, wow. Every Tuesday, and they moved it to every Thursday, and then every Friday, because niggas wasn't watching it. So they kept trying to see this. <laughs> I mean, this shit got one season. But shout out. Shout out. Shout out, Andrew Garfield. Shout out. Yo, really shout out, Andrew Garfield. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. That nigga changed my life. He really got me in the films. Bro. I was like, what else is he in? And then nigga just kept being in good shit. So I'm like, what's True. the Oscars like? like? True. Literally, like, I was like, ah, oh, all right, all right, I, I got to get off that Spider Man shit. 
a block away from me, Gwen Stacy is where Gwen Stacy died in the comics. So I'll be on my roof like, yo. Whenever I smoke, I look at it and I'm like, wow. That motherfucker Norman. I'm going to kill that nigga, bro. If I see that nigga Norman Osborne, I'm, I'm not Spider-Man. <laughs> I need to stop. Um, before we move from Spider-Man, I just want to ask you like your top three Spider-Man related like media creative. pieces. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay. Of all time, it's this album called Spider-Man something. Um, it's a long album. I got to look it up. I got my laptop right here. It was supposed to be like a, a rock opera, bro. Like, it's crazy. It came out Spider-Man the, rock opera? Yeah, bro. It came out in the 70s. Damn. It's very rare. It's where this meme came from. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't even know that's Peter Parker looking at Drift Out. Rock <laughs> Reflections of a Superhero is what it's called. Wow. It is amazing. It is, it is an amazing album. It's a psych rock album. It's beautiful. Um, that's, that's, that's like number three, though. That's at the bottom. Yeah. Number two, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. This is one of my favorite. This is my favorite Spider-Man movie. You feel me? One, you got Mark Webb directing it. You got... Pharrell and Hans Zimmer doing a score. No way. Yes. Pharrell was on there? Yes. Wow. Black and excellence. And Hans Zimmer. Is. Black excellence. Wow. You got Jamie Foxx. Oscar award winning actor Jamie Foxx. Oscar nominated actor Andrew Garfield. Oscar award winning actress Sally Field. Oscar winning actor Emma Stone. Oscar award winning actor <laughs> Chris Plummer. Oscar nominated actor Dane DeHaan. You got it all. It's a great movie. The first, I mean, the only Spider-Man movie shot on all analog. You feel me? Niggas was doing rule, rolls and spools of, of, of film. <laughs> the first one only shot all in location in New York State. They had to go to Yonkers to shoot a little bit of the extra shit. But like, come on, like the fight scenes and shit. But like, who else is doing what they doing, bro? Mark Webb was really on his like filmmaking vibe. And that old nigga, Avia, nah, I fuck with Avia Rod. I'm sorry, Avia, I need that job. I love you. <laughs> but his opinions differed from the ones that I liked. Uh, in the number one, uh, let's see, let's see. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Ah, the power in you. What am I talking about? What is that one? The last song, no, the second to last song on 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 the power of self belief. Oh, you're talking about. That you feel me? That's the first half. Stamp. Rise is great responsibility. And that song is great power. That was Peter's problem. He didn't learn responsibility first. I'm trying to be the Uncle Ben for you. Oh, yeah. That's crazy you say that because that transitions into my next series of questions, which was gonna be on the power. <laughs> Self-belief. I bet. I agree. I call. But, uh, yeah, so when did you start working on that project? Uh, some of them songs I've had since I was, like, 18. Like, like the power in you I've had since I was, like, 18. Yeah. Um, that song, America, I made, like, like, the last song, the Black Excellence one. I made that, like, recently. Uh, mm -hmm. Right as I got this lap steel guitar. It's a lap steel guitar I'm pointing to off, off camera. But, uh, you ain't never had deal for Christmas. I was like, oh word, I need to make like a song about America because I want my country. Like I'm in my country back. Yeah, That's why I got yeah. it because I've been making country for the next for like the big project for when you know niggas are listening. Yeah, uh, and then I was like, "Fuck That's it, tough. yeah." Uh, Rip MCA, I made when I got this too. It's all on lap steel. Mm -hmm. um, throat chakra, Word. yeah. Throat chakra, I made maybe like half of the album I made in one chunk, and then the other half I just had for years that I've been holding until the right time because I wanted mm -hmm. enough people to listen. Mm -hmm. And the right time came. Not involved. I made when I was nineteen. Also, it's not called not involved anymore. See, it's called Mike TV. 
uh, from Willy and the, Willy Wonka and the Charlie Chocolate Factory. Mm -hmm. um, the kid who was shrunk into the TV because all he did was watch TV. That was his thing. And he, yeah, I want to be. I want. I don't want to end up like him, but I do want to watch TV all day. <laughs> You ever seen the aviator i don't think so dog howard hughes it's a it's a movie um with leonardo dicaprio gotcha uh, it's a martin scorsese movie howard hughes he's just sitting in this big room in his movie theater in his house just eating chocolate chip cookies and drinking milk being naked like they showed that it's like a depressing thing which to, it is okay okay i want to do that that's how it sounds I want my fun. life to end <laughs> that ass on the couch Eating chocolate chip cookies. Eating chocolate chip cookies that my that niggas are passing to me. Like I'm not even going to mm -hmm. get them. Like, he just sat there and just did that till he died. Like I would do that till I die. Like, all I know is pop culture references. Which is rough. That us, it's not affable. I gotta learn how to not do that. Anyway. Thanks. But uh, what's the meaning behind the, t the title of the project, The Power of self Belief? Ah, uh, look, niggas need to learn how to believe in themselves. Like, mm. you looking for a place, a safe place, and I'm gonna help you make everywhere a safe place. Yeah. All you gotta do is just have the confidence that you don't have currently, honestly. And I'm trying to provide that. You could change your life today. All you gotta do is think about what you can do. Where is, would you say that's like the general theme of the project and that's kind of what's conveyed through each song? Honestly, yeah. Like It's more so like the whole thing is like, yo, like you could be a better you. All you got to do is stop worrying about these other niggas. Like, True. Like fuck what everybody else doing. I'm already better than everybody else because I'm not even caring about what everybody else doing. That's the first step. You feel me? Niggas is, niggas is too focused on all you got to do so let Blake guide you, dog. I'm telling you, man. I got the. Nah, that's what it's. That's literally what it's about. Just so I want people. Toughen up, but in the right way. You yeah. Know? I'm trying to be like a, a nurturing figure in, 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 like, with the music. Like, I'm trying to be like, yo, like, it don't got to be like this, dog. You can do whatever you want to do. You honestly can do everything you want to do. All it is is a matter of if you want to learn everything you want to do. Facts. So as far as like picking the songs that we're going to be on this project, because I mean, I just saw you knock out a, a song like just just in like just then right now, like 10 minutes in 10 minutes. And um, were you just picking songs that kind of had that same thing, especially since you had some songs you had since you're 18 or did you record any with that? Kind of in mind. Well, so what I did was I started with some of the songs that I had from when I was a young year, and I, I listened to them. Yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna make something with this. I'll make something based off these these like Word. the theme that these songs share. And so I had the Invincible song, The Power in You, and I was like, oh word, I can make a whole thing about this. Um, and also I'm trying to get my mind ready. I'm trying to make a hoop mixtape this year, like a hoop mixtape album this year, like. Like real like DJ Premier type beats like got you. You feel me? My yo, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. I done went from no 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 beats. Give me give me the bum bike, yeah. the bum beats. You gotta bar out. You feel me? I gotta got bar out. out. Yeah. I gotta bar. I gotta do my like. Try get my try get on my no ceilings too. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's that's another reason why I got onto it. Uh. I may rip MCA though, cause I love the Beastie Boys. I have a lot of songs like that um, dedicated to the Beastie Boys. <laughs> Uh, they big influences on me, so I fuck with uh, yeah. Rip MCA though, Rip MC Adam for sure. Like, 
Yeah, for sure. For R. sure. R. And also, um, shout out, shout out, uh, shout out Kanye West. He interpolated a lot of Beastie Boy lyrics. That's how I found out about it. And also, it's Black History Month, so I can't say just shout out Beastie Boys. Yeah, exactly. Happy Black History Month. To you feel me? But also, shout out the Jews. I didn't mean to do Kanye next to the Beastie Boys. Shout out, like the Jews was. Shout out know, the Jews. Shout out the Jews. I got a couple Jewish niggas. You feel me? Like I, got, I have a also few this, Jewish niggas. Hey, shout out, shout out Quentin, yo. Shout out Quentin. Yo. Shout out Quentin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out Quentin, Our yo. Guy. Shout out Casey. Uh. Uh, uh, shout out Lilith. We not finna get into. It. We not finna get into. It. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, definitely keep that history, in there, bro. Definitely... <laughs> Rest in peace, MC Adam. Man. Yeah. Loved your music. Intergalactic is crazy. That was interesting. You saying that you listened to older songs and like were kind of inspired to make new ones or reworked older songs because. I feel like the Island Boy track, I like was listening to. And I like, I was like, I really liked it, and then I realized that that was the Sosa Glow song, right? Was it? Nah, it's just, it's in the, just same the same vein. Flow. Yeah, it's in the same got vein. Got you, got you. I was. Those are both the same type of song. Yeah. No, you can't come over. I spent two fifty on a dab, but I still roll up. Boy, you should have seen the shit that bitch blew my phone up. She be on some manly shit. But yeah, yo, thank you, Chief Keef, for right. being Chief Keef. Of course. Yeah, and uh, I used thank to live you. on 63rd and Stewart, like a block away from 63rd and Normal. Word. That shit was scary. My mom had to to school. <sighs> yeah, listen yeah. to the last by Childish Gambino. Like I like I, look, he is look, I don't like the quality of his music. But my when I was a kid sharing a room with six kids and my mom had to drive me to that white school, my mama told me to listen to him. Word. I didn't like it then. recommended by Chad. But I understand, yeah, because she was like, he black, he went to college and he make movies. Yeah. And she just gave, yeah. She's like, yo, you got to listen to me. That's a great inspiration, honestly. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I just don't like the music. I I feel you. I'm really fucked up. I can't rock with the approach. I lost my virginity to Redbone. Like, like it came on and I was like, nah, we got to turn this off. (laughs) Like we like I cringe so hard. I'm like, oh dude, nah, we stopped and I was like, nah, we gotta turn this off. I was finna shout out the girl I, yo, shout out the girl I lost my virginity to, yo. Like shout out the girl I lost my virginity to. She fucking sucks. Not because no weird shit. She sucks on a personal reason. She didn't do nothing to me. She did. She broke my baby. My I had a base. I told her to hold it for me for a couple of days. She broke it. It's her. Damn. I'm in pain. That's pain. But then I thought about it recently, and it was kind of my fault for some other shit. I don't know. I hope to stay in there. Shout out, Shorty, though. You know who you are. Yeah, you know who you are. What's your favorite track off the project? They're all so good. No, I'm mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Uh, the power in you. Yeah. Yeah, the power in you. Or uh, it's a good song. Yeah, or on the phone. I like on the phone a lot. Um, OTP. Uh, it's called On the Phone or One True Pairing because they both have the same, the song has both of those meanings. I love keeping listening to New Blake. I, so I really fuck with that song too. Which one? The OTP. 
Uh, yeah, that's what that's, that's what a I'm, good concept. I like that's the lyrics in Rise, mm. but OTP is cool. That is my one of my favorites because it's like the cutest one, and it's like my my version of Take on Me. I was trying to make Take on Me. Mm. I was like, yeah, I got <laughs> one. Uh, Texas, hold that beat is crazy. The devil's always around. Got when I got him in hole. Oh, that shit go. Could you keep it down? All right, all right, all right. Mm. That's, 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 the, that's, that's like the, the funnest one to dance to. Cause it's like, that's the funnest one to dance to. But my favorite is either The Power in You, because that, that, that one ascension I do with mm. for me and the vocal. The vocal performance on that one is crazy. Shout out Sitika for playing keys on that one too, the power in you. Shout out Sitika. Shout out Sitika. <clears throat> shout out, shout out LK Sapphire for 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 for, for co-producing that. That uh, Island Boy with me. We made that because I took a trip to the crib. And I was like, yeah, I'm at the crib, fo. I'm in Chicago. Fo. Let's make some Chicago shit. So shout out, shout out uh, LK Sapphire, gang. So you recently dropped a music video for Throw Chalker. Uh, and it's kind of features you just going through the city and also, just kind of talking, talking shit. You want to do a little bit of like a breakdown behind just kind of like the theme behind the music yeah, video? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I wanted to. Do a whole bunch of Spider-Man shots, but I wanted to make it look like a black exploitation movie. That was the vibe. Um, so I took a whole bunch of Spider-Man shots. There's this thing called Freeform. You guys should get it if you make videos. Use Freeform. It's like a, a huge bulletin board for MacBook users. If you got a MacBook, you got it. But if you don't, sorry. There's probably something else. I, but Freeform is cool. It's free. It's sick. I've been, I use that to draft my videos, and I just have a folder of ideas the day I shoot. I look through the folder of ideas. It's just a whole bunch of pictures of Spider-Man from different angles. <laughs> and I'm just like, let's do that. We're going to do this for this song. We're going to do this for this song. It's literally just a whole bunch of Spider-Man things. Um, that's fine. That's pretty much how I make videos. Uh, I try to sh I do a test shoot by myself. Um, so basically, like, it's going to be in my room. Uh, the background is going to be different, but the angle is going to be the same. Mm. As long as the angle is the same, I did the test shot, take a little pic, uh, and then you feel me. Uh, I work with Spencer. If I'm working with Spencer, I don't do the test shots. If I'm working by myself, I do the test shots, then I reshoot everything. Um, uh, but lately, for that one, I work with Spencer, uh, and we were just, I, I just had the pics on deck. I was like, I wanted to be this vibe. He understood immediately. And we shot. We shot the video. Uh, most of the time, I'd be wanting it to be like static shots, but mm -hmm. I know I couldn't do that, so I had to get help. Uh, this video is not a song you can do static shots with, so it's like, fuck it. That's fair. Yeah, that, I, I fuck with that video, and that's very interesting that that's kind of like your process for shooting videos and once again like the inspiration from the spider-man and you kind of direct and edit all your music videos right yeah uh this one was co-directed and co-edited but usually i do everything yeah. myself um or have someone help you out with it yeah kind of and, and it's like away. that's like most of the process yeah well lately it's I've been doing the, the the reaching out for help thing, but before that, like before like the past like four months, yeah, nah, I've been doing it myself, so that shit was hard as hell. <clears throat> shout That's out fair. Spencer, dog. Shout, yeah, out Spencer. shout out Spencer. What's your favorite or top three five music videos that you've done? Uh, I like my Spider. I have a video for a Spider Man cover I made. Um, it's on YouTube. I like a. I like the Fraser Kramer Fez video. It's super dramatic. The lighting is sick. Uh, and 
those are clips from the movie that I was. So those are like test clips from the, my movie that I'm working on. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> I do like the throw shocker video a lot. Yeah, in the rip MCA video because it's the so what you want video by the Beastie Boys, mm. but I didn't do the color filter. I just did the the, the slow motion thing that they did, the time ramping thing. That was so cool. Shout out to Beastie Boys, man. Again, Shout um, Beastie Boys. in five. I got this video um, for this song called Nepotism Baby on my Instagram only. It's like a fake C-SPAN video. pretty cool that song is pretty cool if you want to sample it go ahead i made it so i could i i that one i was like i'm trying to be a sample I'm like niggas this shit gonna be so soulful niggas for the sample so if you want to sample it it's on my <laughs> instagram that's my favorite video too because this is me like doing like a, a state of the union speech that's why i got the flag that's in the background. I got it yeah. for that video. Yeah, I yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I had a suit on and shit. That shit was fine. And you also produce like all of your music videos, or not music videos. You also produce all of your songs too, right? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. The only thing that I don't do sometimes is keys, and that's sometimes, and that's when I need my boy Sid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, other than that, nah. No, so are no. you? Uh, what DAW do you use? I use FL. Mm. Yeah. It's the best one. It's a video game. If it's the easiest, <laughs> it's the best. It's the easiest to use. It is the best one. Okay. That goes for any program, any application. Don't let niggas trick you. They just feel bad because they have to deal with that learning curve and they want you to do it too. Misery <laughs> needs company. True, true, true. Uh, do you be on like the VSTs and stuff or are you mostly sampling? I don't even sample like that. I do drum sampling. True. But other than that, I just play instruments. Like, yeah, I got what? a bass here, I got a mm -hmm. guitar here. Mm -hmm. I, I got a mini keyboard. I use that sometimes for like yeah. leads and shit. But when yeah. I want to do chords, I program it into the into the VST. Um, but like, I use like, I don't, I don't use FL stock plugins. Like, shout out GMS and shout out Three Times Oscillated. I use you for everything. That whole album was all stock. Gotcha. Well, I use the, the bass. This bass is also my baby. Like, yeah, nah. That's tough. Um, and when you're recording, do you normally stand up or sit down? I'm either like right here like this, mm. or I'm laying down on the bed, or if the song hype, I'm walking around in circles in my room. Got you. Yeah. Got you. So you got a variety of like, yeah. processes. You got a preference, or it just moves more like what movie? It's just whichever the song feel yeah, like. For yeah, real. Yeah. yeah. For most of the power, the power of self belief, I made like laying down. Mm -hmm. uh, Rip MCA, I actually made jumping up and shit. I was just like moving around like crazy. Um, throat chakra, I made that shit actually like, 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 like sitting down while I was rolling up. Mm -hmm. like, I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. And I can actually visualize it because I literally just see you keep referencing it, but like it was just cool kind of seeing it happen. Yeah, that's that's moment. literally yeah. like how it is usually. I guess I'll make music. I got an idea. In my, like I have something in my head, like a, like like it like it was already made. I'm yeah. Like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, who are you listening to these days? Blake Parker. I just listened to Ye and Ty Dolla Sign. Solid album. Yeah, I haven't tapped in yet. Six out of ten. Um, That's what I've been hearing. <laughs> uh. I've been listening to this artist from New Jersey called uh, 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 uh. This artist from New Jersey, his name is Lee, sick artist, oui. amazing musician. Um, I've been listening to uh, this band Dolly. Them niggas fast car, slow car. Shout out fast car, Yo, slow them car. Them niggas is crazy yeah, no, also tough. Vera and Yvonne I listen to Vera all the time Vera, I got a uh, we got a show in New York uh, February 19th uh, 
uh, President's Day. Yeah. That's not why I said that. I actually have been waiting a year and a half for that Dead Man song. Uh, and it's finally out. <laughs> uh, I also been uh, trying to look bro for a very long time, but I just found out how to do that here. And also, uh, nice. yeah, so, That's so, great. So, so it's happening. Um, <clears throat> who else? I listen to a lot of Taylor Swift. Like really? a regular. She's one of my goats. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it's like when you listen to her, it's like you listen to somebody's diary. It's like you're reading somebody's diary. That mm-hmm. shit is- that shit is crazy to me. Uh, I listen to a lot of I listen to a lot of pop music though. Like I listen to hella Sophie. I listen to hella. Uh, let me look at my. I listen to hella Paul McCartney. Shout out Paul McCartney. Also a Gemini. Also a goat. Gemini is the best sign. You got Brian Wilson. You got Paul McCartney. You got you got a uh, you got a uh, you got a uh, Kobe Collat. You got EA Azalea Banks. Donald Trump. What was that? Were you president? JFK was a Gemini. <laughs> oh, Gemini's, yeah. Yeah. Andre three thousand. Andre three thousand. Yeah. Andre three thousand. Kendrick. I think. Kendrick. Come on, Prince. Prince, yeah. Come on. Tom Holland. Come on. <laughs> is Spider Man a Gemini? Spider Man is a Libra. Hey, I'm a Libra. Yeah. Well, he yeah. was a Libra until the MCU, and now he a Leo. Wow. Like yeah, They're like crazy that. for that. Like, I don't like that at all. They're crazy for that. Naruto is also a Libra. Oh, fire. Yeah. Fire. Libra gang. Makes sense. All these niggas is based yeah. off Spider-Man. <laughs> like, dead ass. All the teenage characters. Sailor True. Moon. Naruto. Well, Sailor Moon, Naruto, and... um One Piece? Nah, what's that one? My Hero? Oh yeah, yeah. All three of those are based on like those are like inspired by Spider Man. Oh, really? And Power Rangers. Yeah. The more you know, the more you know. Heard it here first. Um, <clears throat> to pivot back to live shows, because you mentioned that you do have a show coming up, and you did kind of name drop the people that were performing and shit. Um, you also and definitely pull up to that. It's gonna be lit. February nineteenth. Um, oh, the and the band Bet there. is performing. Um, their first show ever. I didn't name them. There's people on this oh, team yeah, so yeah, not this listening the to them. I haven't heard a song, but my homie uh, is very talented, so I trust him. My homie that's in the band is very talented, so I trust him. Fire. Yeah. Um, but you also recently did a kind of like a release show. I'm, I think the album <clears throat> had come out right before or right after. But yeah, how was that? Uh, whole process uh honestly for a couple years i was trying to figure out how to do some shit like that so yeah. i didn't drop any real music yeah and i figured it out i didn't figure it out the venue had a, a sale i bought the venue you yeah. know how the shit goes right and i got it um Get really you. i wanted to uh, make it a thing that people could like uh, uh, uh people just like had to listen um so uh R and B artists, like you feel me, niggas gonna talk over them if they don't got nobody doing that. So yeah. I learned from Teddy Pendergrass and D'Angelo. They you used to have comedians open for them, um, and like talk in between where they need to do breaks and shit. Um, and huh. so and so, I was like, yo, like why don't I just do that? Uh, also, I want to do like an like I'm trying to do like I'm trying to do like a, I'm trying to be like an Andy Kaufman type individual that also. Uh, I want to be Andy Kaufman. <laughs> I want to be Andy Kaufman. I want to be Andy Kaufman. That's the that's the vibe. I want to be Andy Kaufman. I'm trying to fuck with the crowd. I want to do anti yeah. entertainment. I want to fuck you up because why are you paying to be entertained? That shit's fucked up. Go home. Go make music. You know. Make music, but yeah. if you can't, and I can, I'm gonna bully you. <laughs> I mean, but it's out of love. Like it's out of love. I'm trying to tell you that you can do anything you put your mind to. Um, so you had comedians open up for the show? Uh, I had my boy Michael Green, one of the funniest niggas I know. He's also MC in the one next week, but um, what? he is also one of the funniest niggas I know genuinely. Like, yeah, I'll be I'll be reading jokes back. I feel to like him. that that means <coughs> something to you. I feel like you are a funny person, also know. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'll be I'll be reading jokes back to that nigga. Like, uh, I, he got. I've been doing like stand up without the mask. You you guys will not know where it is at. 
Uh, I've been doing stand up with him, and I've been I'll be asking him for advice and shit all the fucking time. So you be hitting open mics and shit. Yeah, that's yeah. tough. I was literally gonna ask you if you ever considered like doing stand up. I have. I have. Stand-up. My brother loves comedy, so who are your, uh, like well one how long have you been like at it and that. I've been doing it for like a couple months, dude. Gotcha. So you're just yeah. you just got into it. But you probably you probably have to consider it for a minute before you actually do it. Yeah. I've definitely yeah. considered it. I'll be considering it because I want well, it took I'm rubbing the fuck. Okay, so it took yeah, me sure. um it took me like a few months of going to shows to be like, I could I could do this. Yeah. Cause it was niggas just the just wasn't funny up there. I mean they was getting paid, so I'm like I could do this. Yeah. Yeah, I could do this. So shout out Michael Green. Shout out Asad Benbo. Shout out Gio Yankee. Uh, 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 shout out Jordan Gordon. You feel me? Shout out to niggas. Nah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. For real. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to have it so people were made to listen. And I couldn't yeah. find enough people in time to spray bottles at niggas. I wanted to be like, a lot of people in, like spraying water at the crowd if they spoke. Yeah, like I did did at other shows, but mm-hmm. I, um, uh, I couldn't find the note. Like I could, I, I wanted to pay people that weren't a part of the show, like that weren't in like my homie, so my yeah. homies could pay to get in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I couldn't do that in time. I was trying to build a stage and shit too. It was so elaborate. I had a whole bunch of shit planned. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I I I be doing woodworking and shit, so I'm just gonna use like a a, a handsaw and just like make a wood out of them and make a stage out of like a pallet. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't get the wood. Shorty low key flaked. I'm not gonna lie. I almost got the wood and I almost made my own stage. Shorty flaked. She Damn. was like, "Yo, you come get the wood." And then 30 minutes later, I'm like, "I'm finna be on my way." She's like, "Oh, we already stripped it. We using it." I'm like, "Yo." Damn. Yeah. But it's cool. Uh I still feel like it turned out pretty well. I agree. People yeah. came. I thought yeah, it was gonna be empty. Choice. I thought it was gonna be empty. I'm chilling. I thought it was just gonna be my friends and then hell niggas got dumb, but that's great. That's yeah. always a good feeling. Also shout out to Kayla. Uh uh I've been listening to Kayla since I was eighteen. It's crazy that Kayla's way younger than me and um I lived with the Kayla for a few months. Also, uh, 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 great music. Gotta listen to it. That's happening. Something I wanted to bring up is kind of your like social media presence and like your Instagram. Just I mean, specifically your Instagram. I feel like every time I go on and see your story or a post, I'm like, oh, either. Like I laugh or I like am informed or I really I feel like your account is the one one of the most one of the accounts that I will like like the most as far as when I see like a story and shit. Um and I just wanted to ask you, like, are you curating any of your posts or is it all just in the moment? Nah, I'd be trying to make that shit as funny as possible. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be trying to make that shit so funny. I'd be, I'd be, dying, at, like, I'd be like the daily. How can I say it? Literally just like looking at my phone. How can I say it? Or if I'm like, honestly, I'll be waking up angry or like I'll be waking up mad or whatever. Yeah. Naturally. So I'm just going to get up, say something, just close my phone. And then like I only use my phone to say stuff. So like I don't be like scrolling through unless it's like unless my unless I know like my homie for the drop or it's like some shit I want to see, like an artist I fuck with. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Or some shit. But I don't look through stories. Bro. I look through stories probably like when I'm on the train. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. it. So I just be like, niggas be tweaking. Like, yeah. <laughs> Using that just to like get shit off. Yeah, that, exactly. that makes sense. That makes sense. But I'm like, if I'm gonna do it, it can't just be like a crazy person rambling. The shit has to be jokes. It has to be hilarious. Like it gotta be like uh, observational humor. I'm being. I'm like Jerry Seinfeld for the hood. Minus the whole like teenager thing. Only time I dated a teenager is when I was seventeen. Oh, yeah, you did <laughs> date teenagers, man. It's everybody. Man. It's just yeah, a disease. Yeah. I don't know what the f- hey, they caught him. In, uh, wrong, I don't even want to talk about it. Shout out the Jews, but they caught him in. Uh, you know, they caught him in. The, they caught him. They caught him in the motherland. 
Damn. Oh. My mother been eating hot dogs and shit. Mm. Shout out to Jules, though. Yeah. <laughs> eating hot dogs. <laughs> like, uh, you, you went in Palestine. You, you eating pork in Palestine? That shit is crazy. Wow. That shit is wow. crazy. Wow. I mean, I've definitely heard and seen that, like, Israel is, like, a place that a lot of, like, convicted pedophiles from the U.S. will go to because the laws aren't there and shit. It's true. It's true. So it makes sense that they caught him there. You feel me? Uh, <laughs> also, see so you posted that a lot on Instagram. It's kind of like, uh, like autism and stuff. And I guess, like, do you feel like you are have autism? Well, I just refute all mental labels in general. My right. parents used to think I was autistic and shit. I got tested so many times growing up. Damn. Niggas had me on the... Look, <laughs> I'm a grown adult with Spider-Man blankets. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a spectrum and everybody is on a spectrum. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, how do you feel about <clears throat> just like how like the TikTok and like Instagram reels Kind of like everyone's kind of self-diagnosing themselves. Do you feel like that? Y'all gotta is stop cool with that or... shit. Y'all gotta stop yeah, with that I shit. I feel like doctors exist <laughs> for a reason, bro. And it's not to you gonna say it's capitalistic for me to say that. Nah, if you can't get money to get that, get your life together, bro. Yeah. Your life in shambles. You could ask your parents easily for the bread too if they handling it. If they handling your business. Get your life together. And That's I'm not on no cap. Look. You could be homeless and have a therapist. I know niggas. I was niggas. I'm telling niggas that you could do better at any moment, at any time. Just stop being a hoe. Stop being a hoe. Don't diagnose yourself, bro. Maybe be like, oh, I might have this. Go to the doctor and be like, I might have this. Doctor finna go over the symptoms with you. All right, cool. Go to two doctors. Go to two doctors. Get two options. You feel me? Get two, get, get two look overs or whatever. Get two glances, get two looks, whatever they call it. Get one of those. And then you're good. But no. Stop <laughs> self-diagnosing. Yeah. Maybe like if it's like your room disgusting, you feel me? And you keep going outside, your room disgusting, you still working in it. You might have ADHD or something. You could probably say you could probably say that. Well, yeah. yeah, I might have that. But you can't. You gotta say I might have it. You can't say you can't go up to niggas like, yeah, I got it. Yeah. What are you trying to? That's called look. Now you know that you know why you know why niggas do that. Individualism, because we brain rot it by individualism. That's niggas want to be special, bro. Niggas want to be special. Well, ever yeah. since the CIA yeah. paid Jackson Pollock that one hundred fifty million to make art to boost individualism in America to fight wow. McCarthyism. Ever since. Wow. Look, bro, all yeah, I'm saying is... Yeah, or America hasn't been the same. It, like, I mean, dead like, ass. Yeah. Like, dead ass. Like, you feel me? Niggas want to buy stuff. Niggas want to be the coolest one in the room at all times. At all times. That's Can crazy. You just be a person. That's crazy. That's why I wear a mask. Though. I don't want... I don't want... I want to go outside and be a stranger at all times. Mm -hmm. you know? I, like, want to be, like... I want to be director famous. If yeah. you know, you know. Like, but if you feel me, if you don't, you just let me, you don't know who the fuck I am. I'm just an old guy walking by. Right. But yeah, no, that, that was, I was just interested in like your opinion on this shit. And I also feel like, do you feel like that has helped you as far as like creative, creatively? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I could go on forever about True. a lot of shit. So yeah, that's fair. That's, that, that's <laughs> it easily turns into music. Yeah. Um, and then I just want to ask you a couple more questions before you get out of here about just specific projects that you had put out. You oh, put that's out... why it's reflecting. Cause the, uh, cool. um, you put out a stand-up special, uh, or a comedy, not stand-up, comedy special. Oh, the album. Not comedy special, comedy album, my bad. Yeah. You put out a comedy album called Haram Capital uh, last year. I wanted to make the most unlistenable thing ever, but the but the way to make it like um 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 
the make the way to make it like way worse than it already is is to make the music really good. But you can't even hear it. Like you hear enough to know that it's good, but you can't hear it. And I thought that shit was pretty funny. Uh also uh was super inspired by uh the premiere of um uh, of Otis on uh Funk Master Flex. Yeah. Y'all listen to that audio and he just yeah. like we're playing a song, but that shit was hilarious. So I have my homie, I wrote a whole bunch of shit for my homie Andrew to say down because he got a crazy DJ voice. Well, shout out Andrew Goes to Hell. Makes good music. He's an amazing artist. Yeah, an amazing an amazing uh, musician. Uh, 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 but he, I had him yell and shit on the, on the album. And then uh, I, that had a movie attached to it. But that was, I made it before I decided to uh, wear a mask. So mm-hmm. I'm in it. And then I started to wear a mask as I finished the album for it. And I'm like, I can't release this movie. That's Word. the only one I made, like I fully made. It's a it's a hood movie too. It's like a home invasion movie. Like a nigga get like he he broke, he dirty, he but he dusty, he started doing home invasions and then he got he got a Ponzi schemes and he started stealing shit. He started you feel me, started robbing nigga. He, he robbed the wrong nigga with mob ties and then he dies at the end. That's the movie. It's like, I wanted to make a I wanted to make my own belly. That's what I was on. Mm-hmm. Uh but I'm gonna remake that with a, with a, with a, with, a, with, a, with some actors. I won't be in it. Gotcha. That's tough. Yeah, I was curious just about that whole conversation. I'm happy I kind of got your, your take on it or kind of reason behind cuz when you were promoting it, I thought it was going to be a stand-up special, like a stand-up uh... comedy album. That's why uh, even when I was asking you, I was saying like stand up because I thought you were about to do like a hour long set. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to make art as punk as possible. I want to like, literally like break everything. Like yeah, that was the vibe for that. I'm like yo, like I could easily just like make a real album, but also like I could make it so niggas can't even hear it, and that way. If they really want to know what I'm saying, they can buy the CD. Smart, smart, and cool. Thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> also, what was Ball in the Jester's Court? Because I know you went on like a string. That was what the movie was going to be. The one that um, I abandoned. Yeah. Um, that shit is dark. You ever heard of the Black Album by Prince? Yeah. The unreleased one that he was like just shitting on black people the whole time. I didn't know that's what it was. Yeah. My dad is a huge Prince fan and has talked about the Black Album. He yeah. said he'd listen to it. He was being know. a coon on that album. And he was Word. like, yeah. I didn't know that's and what that was all about. He heard it back and he was like, this is a coon album. So he scrapped it. Um, Got you. Like immediately after. Uh, he's like, the energy on that was dark, is what he told. That's, that's the vibe for this album. It's not a coon album. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's amazing. It's not a coon album. Uh, but. It is an incel album, so I'm like, this shit is, nah. The first song is about the Aurora, Colorado mass shooting at the movie theater. Like, second song is about, I say, AR in the duster, pop them like a zit. Oh my Come god, on. nah, nah, I can't, I can't release them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's another reason why I made uh, the the power of self belief because I heard yeah. that shit back You're after like, I, I got gotta, done. I'm like, yo, I gotta get this energy, shit, yeah, yeah, off my back. Also, like, I finished the ball in the jester's court. Um, also, the painting, the the cover is a real painting. It's behind you. That shit crazy. That's crazy. Uh, I finished that album on 9-11. So I was like, yo, I can't drop this. Yeah. Shit, I cannot drop this. It's just too much. Yeah. Too many signs. You feel me? Like, <laughs> ominous as hell. Yeah. I might cause I might cause a kid to do something. And then you were working on, and then I'm pretty sure you put out um a book called like Manifest Destiny. A comprehensive guide. Yeah. On how to succeed. Uh, practice for over 400 years is the subtitle that all of that is the same. <laughs> it's a good book. Go read the book. It's a it's a satire. It's a satire. It's a satire, yeah. yeah, yeah. But also manifest destiny works. I'm not going to lie to you. Look, you can believe in God and be evil. All you got to do is pray. The difference mm. between good people and bad people who believe in God is good people, bad people who believe in God pray. Good people will just be forgetting. Yeah. Facts. Damn, that's crazy. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good book. You gotta tap in. Throw I it on the screen. I agree. The cover's cool. The art is cool. Uh, 
uh, I'm dropping an issue of my satire magazine, The Stall, on President's Day. It's mm-hmm. a Black History Month edition. Shout out to BZ. That was going to be my next question on The Stall. When did you launch that? Right after the Manifest Destiny thing. I made gotcha. the Manifest Destiny book to see if I could make a satire magazine. And yeah. I was like, eh, this is pretty funny. And then I was like, cool, I'm going to make another one. Uh, the Stall, the first issue... But this one has other writers. That's why it's like a magazine. Got you, uh, got you. The okay, first okay. issue had a whole bunch of people on it. Second issue, all black writers, because, you know, Black History Month. I'm only dropping on holidays. Sure. Also, that's the, uh, that's the vibe. I did Thanksgiving, I did President's Day. Yeah, the yeah, ones yeah. that I can get the most political on. That's great. So President's Day, stay tuned for another issue of The Stall. Here in... Uh, and what's good with the male loneliness epidemic flyers that? Ah, uh, that was it. That was a uh, the 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 cover article for the last issue of the Got stall. You. So that was what was covered on. Yeah, the last issue the I was going out issue. doing research for that one in real life. We got to the <laughs> point where I, I got bored while doing research. So I was on for the cog block nigga, and it was just like dudes talking to like girls and like failing, and I was just like, yo, what's up? And then, like, I just, like, get messy with the girls. I'll be like, oh, yeah. And then the dude, like, there goes my night. And then I'll be like, all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> the rest of the night. <laughs> like, just stop talking to the girls completely. Nah, it's, it's, it was fun. I was just writing down shit, like, counting down how many women per dude were was in the, uh, like, you feel me? Like, like in the, the bars, going outside, seeing, like, five dudes to one girl. And she just like getting free. She getting drunk as hell for free. <laughs> niggas just like not getting no pussy because mm. they could they they not doing no friend of friend vibe. You feel me? So they doing the or they not running no two men like like they could easily just one of them could go on hinge. They not ugly. They not awkward. They just dumb. But I had a, yeah I had a nigga tell me it was hoes on LinkedIn. <laughs> and that's what really got me to be like I need to start writing about this shit that's yeah, crazy, well, that's that niggas, crazy. Like, like it be holes on LinkedIn boy what's, what's wrong with you LinkedIn hoes it's crazy that is crazy well it's clear that you have like your hand in multiple mediums of art and are like pretty um, like you know what you're doing in each medium type shit whether it's film music writing satire graphic design you've done a couple flyers for you know sleepwalking and shit um <clears throat> where where do you want to like i feel like there are a bunch of paths that you could go down do you have like a specific path you would want to want to go down specifically i feel like it's probably film from just like our conversation but uh oh yeah like where do you i guess one where do you see like yourself right now in terms of, I guess, the music scene, film scene, uh, or just like creative scene. And you, then, you said, what do I see myself now? Yeah. I honestly just started. Um, Cause I'm just like, yeah, I'm just starting. Yeah. That's it, like I feel, well, especially with film, honestly, I, I was doing it alone. You don't start with film until you have to do it with people. Like, that's just how it goes. Um, I feel like that's with every, every art form though yeah, uh, yeah which yeah. sucks i don't like working on music with people but i i do like hearing good music over over all of that so i guess i gotta start now with it. cool that's a it's a good way to look at that and then where would you want to see yourself in like five years mm-hmm. trying to start the e got like i'm trying to get that e or if I'm far with music, I'm going to start with the G first. That's the first. Yeah, but I feel like I'm trying to get that E first, get the G for like a Broadway play that I did. At the same time, I get the T. Mm-hmm. So I get like... Same year, just like, crush all the, new all the awards. Nah, like I crushed Grammy and Tony at the same year. Got you. Yeah, that I feel like the easiest one. I'll probably do that first. And then the E... I'll do that. I could do that. I could do that last. I could do that last. But I gotta get an O. I could score a Nolan movie. I don't want to work for that nigga. Though. I do though. He's from Chicago. Shout out, shout out, Chris Nolan. <laughs> it's crazy though, because throughout our whole interview, 
just different things that you've said you've done or plan on doing, you literally could get all those awards, like, because you're going into all those, down all those lanes. That's the plan. And I fuck with how you don't really, even in your music, it's, there's no real genres, you know what I'm saying? You'll have a little bit of drum and bass, hip hop, R&B, um, trap shit. It doesn't really matter. And it makes sense that you have like a punk approach to what you're doing create, creatively. Um, and yeah, it's, it's exciting to see. I'm excited myself, yo. I, I love making. That's literally like, I love making. Like that's like all I do. Yeah. That's like, and all be all if I could, I want to watch TV. All I want to do is watch TV. I just want to watch TV. But <laughs> the end goal. But the way to watch TV is to make it. Yeah. Like that's the way to make. Like you get syndicated or whatever. You get on the streaming service and you never gotta work again. You finna watch your shit on TV. Fuck. I just want to watch TV. Shout out, uh, shout out Eddie Murphy. Shout out Donald Glover. Shout out Tyler Perry. Shout out Tyler, the creator. Shout out Cat Williams. Shout out Cat Williams. Shout out Kanye West. Shout out Prince. Yeah, shout out Prince. Shout out Paul McCartney. Shout out Taylor Swift. All the Swifties out there. Um, and what should the people expect next from from you? Before we get out of here, um, a lot of stuff. Honestly, a lot of good stuff. Uh, that show. I'm making a lot of art. A new mask. Um, um, this movie's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I gotta. I gotta reshoot everything though. Uh, uh, it should happen next month. I'm gonna do the voiceover and the montages right now. So I can just not have to do that later. Mm. And then it's them there halfway done. The movie's not gonna be that long. Uh, shout out shout out Jung Cook and Jen and them boys at BTS, Freedom Boys. Jen Damn, get out, they still lock. Jen get out this summer. The rest of them get out next year. What? Or this fall. But shout out shout out shout out BTS. Jen get out in May. Jung Cook get out next year, January. Freedom boys. Oh yeah, they have to serve in the military, right? Or yeah, are they yeah, actually yeah. locked up? Well, they gotta serve in the military. I mean, it's. You know hey, what I'm saying? you feel me? It's the same, same shit. shit. John Cook it out the same. Title. John Cook it out the same time as Max B. Free that boy, Max B too. Till it's backwards. Huh? I said till it's backwards. You feel me? Like fuckers, you fuckers, you talking <laughs> about boy? Free that nigga, gang. Nah, for real. We in New York too. And yeah, I mean, we I feel like we shout out a lot of people, but do you have any last minute shout outs? Shout out Sitica. Uh, shout out LK Sapphire. Shout out that boy Tamar. Yeah, shout out Tamar. Yeah, shout out that boy Tamar, gang. Your shit is fire. Uh, shout out Kobe White. Shout out, uh, shout out, uh, shout out, uh, Zach Levine, it's not your fault, bro. Take the pressure off, bro. Chill, bro. You got it, bro. Relax. Um, shout out Monique. I just Damn watched man. her Drink Champs yeah. interview. Queen. You feel me? <laughs> She's on Drink Drink. Nah. Not Drink Champs. Not Drink Champs. Shannon Sharp. I was watching that too. Yeah, that shit was fine. That shit was fine. Shout out to... Uh... Damn. 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 Shout out that one girl I met at that bar a long time ago, and uh, I didn't get on that with you. She thought I was trying to get. She thought I was trying to hit on it. Yeah. But she just looked like she loved country music, and I was like, "Yo, can I send you some songs? <laughs> can you tell me if it sounds like a country song?" Yeah. And yeah, she was fucking with me. She sent the song. She's like, "Yeah, just add strings, do this, 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 and this." Oh, she, she helping me with the song. Like she like a she like a blonde white woman from Georgia. I knew it. I was like. Oh yeah, she, she knew exactly. She either finna be racist or she finna help me out. So yeah, I had to uh, shout out, shout out her. Her name is Maddie Young. Um, big help, huge help. Honestly, one of the biggest helps uh, uh, in the past few months. Um, shout out Haley Colborn. Uh, I've been making music with Haley. <coughs> good musician, um, great writer. Shout out, uh, shout out. Uh, 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 shout out them boys, Orca man. Shout out them Orca boys. Shout out, uh, shout out, Orca. Shout out, uh, 
Shout out my boy, Johnny. I do got a lot of niggas to shout out. I really do. Yeah, no, keep it going. Shout keep out my going. boy, Johnny, man. Show him mad love to that nigga, Johnny, man. That's mm. my, that's my, yeah, that's my bull. Uh, uh, anybody I've created with, dude. Uh, shout out my boy. Wow. Wow. Shout out my boy, Miles, bro. That's my childhood best friend, dude. Shout out Trap Miles. Shout out Jess. When they got started my mass journey with. Shout out Jess. Wow. Shout out Elliot. Shout out Nina. Them all niggas that helped me make me who I am. They made me a true believer. You could be a true believer too. Join the fam. Join the fam. And shout out Blake Parker. Oh yeah, shout out Blake Parker. Shout out Sleepwalker Radio, man. Yeah. Shout out them boys at Sleepwalker, dog. <laughs> shout out my Jewish homies. You feel me? Jewish homies. Uh, the Jewish homies. You feel me? Still priest house sign though, but you already knew that. You feel you me? It's freedom, that. boys. We even gotta say that. It's freedom, boys. It's been that. No free labor, nigga. Free Venezuela. What? Cool. Let all my niggas go. Free, free Congo. Congo. Fuck is you talking about? Sudan, man. Free the world. Free the fucking world. Fuck up. Wow. But we here. We lit. And it's been Sleepwalker Radio. You feel me? I never take a cruise. I'll never take a cruise. I'll never take a cruise. And yeah. Sleepwalker signing off here. Peace.